So what's up Ritz Squad guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna give my second leg predictions for the UEFA Champions League. We know the first leg is all wrapped up and you know, we're gonna see who makes it to the final. So guys, sit back, relax and enjoy the ride and enjoy the video as well. So, first one I wanna tackle is Roma versus Liverpool, second leg. First leg finished 5-2 in favor of Liverpool. Like them, what a match that was. Liverpool went 5-0 up, courtesy of Mohamed Salah, Firmino and Sadio Mane, the deadliest trio in Europe this season. But Roma fought back to, you know, snag two away goals, which is very, very, very crucial to this second leg match. So Roma, they haven't been defeated at home um, for the whole Champions League like this season. So that has to be factored in. But Liverpool are undefeated this season in the Champions League as well. They have the best attack. They have the best defense. So it'll be hard to predict that Liverpool will not win or Liverpool will not advance to the finals. Jürgen Klopp, Jürgen Klopp, man, he haven't won much in his career as a player and as a manager, you know, he got some success with Mainz, which um, catapulted him to the heights of Borussia Dortmund and now Liverpool. So he haven't really won anything with Liverpool as yet, but he achieved a lot with Borussia Dortmund. Well... 2012-13 he got to the finals of the Champions League so we can also see this happening again for Eusebio Di Francesco he has been named Italian manager the best Italian manager in the world this season and he only won one title in his career with Roma as a player and he haven't really won anything as of note since so we have two managers who are not so decorated in terms of championships, trophies, etc. Both as player and manager coming up against each other. So this is a big, 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 big clash. But Liverpool, it's theirs to lose. It's theirs to lose. They have a three goal advantage going into this match and they need to finish off Roma. They can't do what Barcelona did. They can't do what Shakhtar Donetsk did and sit back they have to go play attacking football like they have been doing so far this season and they need to kill off the Romans. For Rome, what they need to do is do exactly what they did versus Shakhtar Donetsk. Do exactly what they did versus Barcelona. They need to score three goals without reply and they are through to the finals for the first time since the 1983-84 final which they contested versus Liverpool so it's it's a very 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 tricky fixture to predict man Roma they played Kievo on the weekend they defeated them 4-1 and Liverpool they played Stoke City and they drew 0-0 so not a really good result for Liverpool but if they could achieve a 0-0 versus Roma they will be happy the fans will be happy Klopp will be happy you know and Everything will be sweet for Liverpool. They will be into the finals. You know, players to watch. Players to watch for Liverpool. Mohamed Salah, Sadio Mane, and Roberto Firmino. Alex Oxley chamberlain picked up a knock. And he will be, I think, out for this season. He will probably, if not miss, England's World Cup matches as well. So, that's it for Oxley chamberlain for other key men, Virgil van Dijk is key. Lloris Carrius in goal is definitely key. The fullbacks, key. But the three men up front, plus Carrius and van Dijk is the key men in my opinion. They need to be on point, no switching off. And Liverpool, everything will be okay. Lovren, he switched off in the last game. I don't know if he will make the 11 for this fixture, but we will just have to wait and see. For Roma, key men, Eden Dzeko, definitely key, key, key man. Raja, Nian Golan, key. Allison, he need to 
you know, do better than he did in the first leg and not ship five goals. And Roma's defense has to tighten up versus Liverpool in the second leg. So, my second leg predictions, Roma versus Liverpool. I'm actually going to predict a draw. I'm actually going to predict a draw. Let me say a 2-2 draw. Roma are going to concede for the first time at home, but they're not going to lose. Liverpool won't lose either. So, I'm going to say 2-2. Liverpool advance to the finals 7 on aggregate. What a high scoring tie, right? So, who will join Jurgen Klopp in the finals, in my opinion? We have Real Madrid playing Bayern Munich. Real Madrid won the first leg 2-1. It was Bayern's match to win, but they really, really, really messed up and missed a lot, a lot of chances. We have Zinedine Zidane versus Jupp Heynckes, 2 very, very decorated managers, both as player and manager. You know, Jupp Heynckes won top goal scorer award in the 70s for Borussia Mönchengladbach. And he also represented West Germany at the 1974 World Cup. He won the Champions League, both with Real Madrid and with Bayern Munich. So he is accustomed to winning a lot, a lot of things. Zinedine Zidane, on the other hand, won the World Cup for France in 1998. And I think he won the Champions League with Juventus, I think, or Real Madrid. One of those teams where he won the Champions League as a player and as a manager as well, twice. So, Zenedine Zidane versus Jupp Heynckes, what a clash. One of the biggest clashes you could um, find between managers. Um, Bayern Munich versus Real Madrid. One of the most played uh, fixture in the Champions League. They have met each other over 25 times. So it's always something to look forward to. But Bayern Munich, they're on the back foot right now. Going into the second leg fixture. They really screwed up. Really, really screwed up. Because they had a chance to put this tie to bed at home. You know, prevent Real Madrid from scoring or even scoring four goals to go into the second leg. But nah, they screwed up. They will need to overturn this deficit and it will be really hard to get past the current back-to-back -back champions, defending champions, Real Madrid, who are looking to make it three in a row. So, um, key men for both teams, key men for Real Madrid. Of course, we have Ronaldo. I'm not going to say Benzema Bale because Zidane has been rotating his squad as of late. Um, I'm going to say... Tony Kroos, Marco Asensio, definitely um, Kilo Navas in goal, very, very important. Marcelo, left back, and um, Sergio Ramos in the defense. If these men play well, Real Madrid will definitely make it to the finals. If they don't, well, we will see Bayern Munich make it to the finals. For Bayern, Robert Lewandowski, Thomas Muller, they have to be on their P's and Q's, man. They have to be more clinical than they were in the last match. You know, Joshua Kimmich, very, very key as well. Um, I really don't know if Jerome Botang will be fit to play this match. So, Matt Hummels will lead the back line. Um, over on the left-hand side, Rafinha played as a left-back. I don't, I really don't you know have any faith in Rafinha he might play again he made the mistake which led to the goal so I really don't know if he will feature again in the second leg so we just have to wait and see Sven Ulreich also has a big role to play so yeah coming into this match Real Madrid won their fixture versus Deportivo I think or Leganes one of these teams they played but they actually won and Bayern Munich won versus Eintracht Frankfurt. So both teams are coming in off wins. But um, for the second leg, my predictions. My predictions for the second leg. I'm going to actually predict another Real Madrid win. We won't see a comeback. Your hikers and Bayern Munich will be knocked out of this season's Champions League at the semi-finals by Real Madrid again. Um, I'm going to predict... Another 2-1 win for Real Madrid. What's your predictions for these fixtures? Let me know in the comments down below. 
2-2 draw between Roma and Liverpool and a 2-1 win for Real Madrid to see them make it to the finals for the third time in a row. So it will be Jürgen Klopp's Liverpool versus Zinedine Zidane's Real Madrid. Will Zidane and Madrid win it three times in a row? Will Jürgen Klopp win the Champions League for the first time in his career? We will just have to wait and see. I know a lot of people are probably looking forward to see Klopp versus Heinkers again like they did in 2012-13, but I don't think we're going to see that. And I know a lot of people want to see Roma in the finals as well, but I don't think they're going to be they're going to make it. I really don't think so. They haven't done enough in the first leg. Uh, I don't think they're going to come back three times in a row. I hope I don't have to eat my words, but, you know, odds are against Roma. Liverpool, it's your game to lose. Real Madrid, it's your game to lose. So, let's wait and see. It's going to be tomorrow, Tuesday, and Wednesday will be for the second leg fixtures. I can't wait. I can't wait, and I know you can't wait as well. So, there you have it, my scrappy, scrappy second leg predictions while going to work. I'm probably late already. So if you're new to the channel, guys, make sure you click the subscribe button. Road to 6K is in full effect. Maybe by the end of the week, I'll get to 6K. Let's wait and see. Don't forget, q and Friday is coming up for the first time. Episode 1 this Friday. I'm going to try to make episode 1 on Friday. And don't forget to go check out the World Cup content and everything. Subscribe to the channel, guys, as I said earlier. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Don't be shy. Leave a thumbs up. And until next time, peace out. Rich Squad!